I want you to stop and think of something you really want that may be the thoughts on your mind frequently that you really can't get. Now, let's clearly understand this is what I've got on the screen here is what we do far too often, far too often. We let the bank balance control our head. Now, I never let that happen. You know why? I never look at the balance. I've never balanced a checkbook in my life. I've never, and I don't intend to ever do it. I don't want to do it. I think it's terrible work. I don't want to do it. Now, does somebody have to do it? Absolutely. And I've got people working with me there. Sandy Gallagher is a genius at this. I don't want to let results control my thinking. I prefer to do this. Now, look here. We know that there's a power that's flowing into our consciousness. We know that. And this power, as it flows in, it just is. It's neither positive or negative. It just is. And we can make out of it anything we want. I've got the idea here. Mikey and I are going to discuss it some more. We get this idea here. She's going to take this to the marketing team and they're going to start talking about it. Now let's understand this. You can do what I'm suggesting here. This, this is you here. And when you do this, you become like you're magnetized. Whatever idea you hold, you impress upon your subjective mind. This is the part that you've got to try and get straight. Your subconscious mind is part of everything. Everything's hooked together. Remember I say the love is a vibration. There's no line of demarcation. They're all joined together. Each one is hooked up to the one above and the one below. That's everything in the universe is connected like that. And you can change it. You have the creative ability to change it. Here's a, an hourglass. The sand in the glass is running here. It never stopped. The glass that's holding the sand used to be sand. Now think what I'm saying. The glass that's holding the sand used to be sand. But we have learned how to alter the molecular structure, change the vibratory rate of the energy that we call sand, then we can turn it into glass, then we can mold it whatever way we want, and we can make an hourglass out of it. It's energy. The energy that we call that is glass. We call this sand because of the vibration it's in. We call this wood because of the vibration it's in. Everything is hooked together because every frequency is connected to the one above and the one below. When you get emotionally involved with an idea and you really get it to sink into your consciousness, you move your body into a vibration, but the mind body is in the vibration and you are in sync intellectually, emotionally, and physically. The consciousness and the subconscious and the body all in the same vibration. You have an, a, strong, a strong attractive force set up. The force is going to start attracting to you from every side of the universe. Whatever is necessary to manifest that idea in physical form or in result. That is the result you want to see. Not the, not the one that exists now. When you look at the present result, that's thinking in reverse. And that's what this night chapter 9 is about. Most people think in reverse. Do not think in reverse. Quit looking backwards. It's a waste of time and a waste of energy and it's very destructive for your own future.